and welcome to this AutoCAD tutorial video. In this video we're going to be considering annotative dimensions. So let's take a look at this. On uh, the screen here in model space I've created uh, a simple shape uh, with some dimensions. Now this shape is quite large. If we zoom in on this dimension you can see that this is 500mm uh, long uh, by 300mm uh, high and these circles have a radius of 40mm. So We've set the uh, dimension height to be 2.5, so that text there is 2.5 mil high. Now, as you can see, in model space, when we're zooming in and out, we can zoom in and see what that looks like. When we go to look at our layout drawing, uh, what you can see is that uh, on an A4 piece of paper such as this, the dimension has become so small as to be illegible. Uh, now, obviously, we could select our uh, viewport here and zoom in to increase the size of that but then we've lost all sense of what the actual uh, drawing looks like so that's not going to be much good so what we can do is we can apply uh, an annotative quality to the dimensions here uh, and that is going to uh, help us in this situation it's going to make our uh, dimensions stay uh, legible so let's go back to this and set this back to where we were before so we're going to set this to a scale of one to four so that sits in there quite nicely and we're going to see how we can make these dimensions legible so if we go back into model space and select one of these dimensions so we'll select just that one for now and if we type PR for properties and bring up uh, the properties pane here we can see uh, under here where it says misc there's a section that says annotative and next to it, it says no which indicates that this dimension does not have an annotative quality if we change that to yes, what we then get is this box come up that says annotative scale one to one. Now if we click uh, on that and then click this button here, it brings up uh, this box here, this window here. Now at the minute this has only got a one to one annotative scale applied to it. If we click add, then what we can do is we can select now uh, other scales. So in this case we're just going to select one to four because that's what we know our scale is on the uh, layout paper space. So if we apply 1.4 to that, 1 to 4 to that, uh, and click OK, we've now applied a 1 to 4 scale to that dimension as well. So if we go back to our layout drawing now, uh, if we go back to our layout drawing, you can see that the size of that text has now increased compared with these ones. So this is now uh, at 2.5 mil high, and it will stay at 2.5 mil high as long as we keep. Uh, this at 1 to 4 scaling. So if we change the scale of this viewport, if we change this to uh, 1 to uh, 8 for example, we zoom out, you can see that that dimension has now disappeared because it doesn't have a 1 to 8 scale applied to it. So if we wanted to do a 1 to 8 scale instead, we'd go back into model space, select the dimension again, uh, select the annotative scale and bring up this window here and then add to that the uh, 1 to 8 scale click OK and click OK so we've had it we've added 1 to 8 to this list of uh, object scales and click OK so this starts to look a little bit odd in model space but that's okay it only does that when we select it and we can uh, move these bits and bobs around if we go back into layout space you can see now on the 1 to 8 scale our dimension has reappeared and still remains at 2.5mm uh, on this drawing as, as a whole. So now if we change this to 1 to 4 again we'll find that the uh, dimension remains but once again it's been scaled down to the correct height. So just to illustrate a point if we now change this to 1 to 5 we can see that the dimension disappears completely. So by adding uh, various uh, annotative scales to our dimensions, we can actually change how it will appear in the layout space. And it keeps all of the text at the same height. So at this point, we can see if we change this back to 1 to 4, we get our dimension back. It's at 2.5mm high. And these two, as you can see, remain very, very small indeed. So again, that's easily corrected. We go into model space, we select the dimensions that we're interested in, change them to annotative uh, in our properties pane, and then add 
on the annotative scale we'll just add one to four to both of those click OK click OK and now those have one to four annotative scales on them as well so you can see there that we we can see the 300 uh, and the 500 quite clearly there so and you can see the original scale hiding behind that as well so now if we go back to our layout number one to our paper space you can see that those have now increased in size and match the height of that so that's annotative scaling and what we use it for uh, obviously as always have a practice have a play see what happens when you change various things uh, and i hope that this video has been of some use and we look forward to seeing you on the next one thank you very much goodbye